Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to see how to convert MSI packages to MSIX using SCM console. Uh, before getting into that process, we need to create an signing certificate for MSIX packages. Without signing certificates, we cannot deploy or we cannot install MSIX packages into Windows 10 devices. First of all, I'm I'm in my domain controller or uh, certificate authority server, internal PKI server, and I'm going to create a signing certificate for my MSIX packages. There are different ways to create signing certificates. You can use the public signing certificate uh, from DigiCert or some other vendor. Even you can use the PKI one, internal PKI one. So in this demo, I'm going to use the internal PKI one. So I'm going to add certificate template and certificate authority. I'm going to create a template over here. This is a post I refer to create an internal signing certificate for MSIX package. I am going through this second step now. Let's go find out code signing certificate and create a duplicate template. Okay. And I will change this to 2008 R2 and Windows 7 2008 R2. And if I go to security, I should ensure that the user or the device should have a read and enroll access on the certificate template. Okay, so write is not required, you can remove that, but uh, it should have read and enroll access. You don't need write access, as I mentioned. If you go to general and you can provide a name, the score MSIX template. Okay, so next is go to request handling and allow the private key export. Okay, so that is done. So this is what we need to do. Uh, go to request handling, request handling and allow private key to be exported. So that is one thing we need to set up. In the extensions tab, you need to make sure that application policies are having code signing. The other one is basic constraints. Okay, in basic constraints, we need to go to edit, click on edit and enable the extension, enable this extension and click OK and that's it. Go to subject name and in the subject name select supply in the request and say OK for this warning. You can click OK. The duplicate template is created for MSIX signing. Now Okay, go to CA, click on certificate templates folder, and new certificate templates to issue and select the first one that is underscore MSIX template. Okay, so that got imported now. So we have completed the task from CA side, okay, or internal PKI side. Now I'm going to Windows 10 machine over here and let me launch a command prompt MMC. And I'm going to request a certificate from my user account because I have given my user account the access to request or enroll. If you have given access to computer account, then you have to select the computer account. So, so in my case, I have given access to my user account. So if I go to certificates and right click and request new certificate and click on next. So I have to say Active Directory Enrollment Policy, yes, configured by admin administrator. As you can see, underscore MSIX template is available okay, for the request. In this scenario, I need to select common name and I should provide my publisher name. I have given, I am selecting my publisher name as Anoop. Okay, see, I say OK. Now, now I can go ahead and select this and click on enroll. Okay, so it's trying to enroll now. It's enrolling as you can see. So the certificate got successfully enrolled into the machine. Now I got the signing certificate from my internal PKI and I can export that. Now I need to export that to 
pfx file i will select yes export private key okay and i will select all the default settings okay and i will put my password in over here okay, confirm password everything is default i'm not changing the encryption type and all folder i'm going to select new folder and inside the new folder i'm going to create the certificate msix one so this is a pfx file this is done successfully exported pfx file we are done with the signing certificate so now we are heading to the next step of this i have launched sscm console from windows 10 mission windows 10 1809 mission this is a remote sscm console now we are going to see how to convert msi package to msix as you can see over here okay, i have no msi package over here but that is 7 zip and i am going to convert that into msix so i am going to click on this this is msix conversion wizard and as you can see over here user account must be a local administrator account and this console should be launched from windows 10 1809 version msix packaging tool from microsoft store should be installed so i have already installed msix packaging tool this is msix packaging tool i have installed this from windows store but we are not going to use it but sscm is going to use it in the background during this wizard let's go through this wizard click next as you may remember i have given cn name common name as anu while i create the certificate template signing signing certificate template so i am giving the same name and this is package save location so you should have access to package save location as well as package source location so package source location is where your package source i am selecting package source location as my desktop and new folder okay so say next next version process is going on and it could it can take a lot of time so the wizard got wizard got completed successfully now i can close this and i can check whether it has the files or not yeah so this is the this is a file actually got created okay this is an msix file so let's <clears throat> try to rename it to zip file and check the content okay okay so this is the content of the file let's go back and change it back to msix Okay, and I'm going to copy this to my desktop. Okay. Okay, got copied now. Now, if I read, double click on this manual installation of this, let's see what is happening. If I say install it will say this msix package should be signed so certificate signing is required so that is the next step we are we are going to see as you have seen before i have already created a certificate signing certificate file okay and I am going to sign this package in with my internal PKI certificate. I have downloaded and installed Windows 10 SDK on this mission. As you can see over here, these are Windows 10 SDK tools actually got installed on this mission. Sign tool.exe is, is the tool I am going to use to sign my MSIX package. This is the syntax of sign tool sign fd hash algorithm hash algorithm is isha256 slash a slash f 
then you need to provide the path of your pfx file slash p and provide your password then the file path of your msi as you can see above this is my command line to sign my msix that is 7 zip I'm running it from administrator command prompt let's see done adding the additional store successfully signed the msix the msix got successfully signed now let's go back to msix folder here and try to run this msix file on the machine earlier i was getting a signature error right so side loading mode is not enabled on my windows 10 machine so go to settings updates and security and for developers over there you can get an option to enable the developers mode so over there you can enable the side loading or if you want to do it for like hundreds of pcs you can use group policy for that okay developer mode i'm going to enable that i have enabled the developer mode from settings now let's launch it again and see what is happening okay, it's getting installed now as you can see so 7zip got installed 7zip msix package worked very well that is it for this video thank you for watching if you like my video please click on like button and share the video